really got behind him last night in the semis, didn't they? I mean, throughout that first 150 meters, you could just see every time he came up, there was this huge chant of go, especially when he turned at the 50 and they realized he was under the world record. Confidence was once an issue for him, and he just needs to clean a few things up. Making that team has gotten that monkey off his back. I think he's ready to have a good one. There he is in lane four, and Cordes will touch first, followed by Miller. Cordes and Miller, the only Olympians right now. Everyone else, this is their last shot to get on the team. So it's Cordes and Miller who went one, two in the 100 meters with a pace here in the 200. And they've laid everything hill here. Will Lacombe with that black cap right there, scratched the 200 IM. Pernod scratched the 200 IM. Two pretty good shots of maybe being able to make at least top three or four. I'm not sure about top two, but they scratched it. They knew everything had to be in this race. And once again, Cordes has the crowd into a frenzy here because he was under the world record pace by a second. He's done that several times in his swims here in Omaha, but he's fallen off. But he does have the only record set here at these trials, that American record in the semis of 100. The one concern I have for Kevin Cordes, he's had two real good 200 breaststrokes. Very tough to put three back to back to back like that. Let's see how much he's got left in the tank. Still, right there at it. Yeah, by more than a second under the world record, he's got two guys around him and Will Lacone and Josh Perneau who are right there with him. So there he is ahead of the world record line right now. Kevin Cordes up above him is Will Lacone looking good. And the other swimmer to watch is Josh Perneau. Only two get to go to Rio in the event. And now Cordes is losing some ground. And here comes Perneau. Perneau is going to punch his ticket in lane five. And Cordes is trying to hold off Lacone, which he barely does. And it's a new American record for Perneau. So Cordes goes, but just barely, as Lacone is out by 14 one hundredths of a second. So you've got another first-time Olympian in Prano, and Cordes will represent the U.S. at both distances. Well, a lot of people have been telling me, hey, you have been talking about Josh Prano. How about Josh Prano? Let's start mentioning him. Okay, here I go. It's Josh Prano coming down the stretch right now, going right by Will Lacone. Look at that. I'm talking about Josh Prano now. I'm not going to stop talking about him for sure. 20717. What a brilliant swim by Josh Prano to put himself on this Olympic team at 511. Height isn't everything. And Lacone's Texas team may have gotten the best of Prano's Cal team in the NCAAs. They went 1 2, but it is Prano who is a first time Olympian with the fastest time in the world this year, 2.07.17. Cordes with the Olympic rings again in the 200. 